This is a bronze wizard card. There are 50 of these scattered throughout Hogwarts. Each time you collect 10 bronze cards, you're given a permanent stamina increase. Pressing the escape key will allow you to access the Folio Magi and look at the wizard cards you've collected thus far. Hello, hello guys and girls, and welcome, it took a while, to a Harry Potter and the of Secrets. We're back again on the PC, and you just saw us collect our first music card. So of course, this is the bonus part, the second bonus part. We did the stars last time out, and now we're back to show where all 101 wizard cards are. It is such a massive jump from 17, 24, 25 in the previous games, all the way up to 101. It is a lot of effort to edit, put together, do all the little card designs, all the fun stuff. But I'm here to show you where they all are in this game. And we got our first one. You can't miss her. It, it's... I don't know what's happened there. Um, I'm after we start the game, but it is Hesper Starkey. Um, she she could be in Hogwarts Legacy, I believe. I think she was just born around the same time. And she discovered the new charts, basically. She's famous for all that. So, as always, it'll be on the timestamp down below. All chapter for each of all 101 cards. They'll be named, shamed, if they're bronze, if they're silver. Because in this game, you have 50 bronze, 40 silver, and 11 gold at the end. It's all fun. Uh, so yeah, if you need to find a specific one, they're all in the timestamp, so let's get into this and get into number two. So here we are, in the Hogwarts grounds for card number two. Hogwarts is just in front of us, but we want to go down to the right here, towards the Quidditch pitch. I hope one didn't get lost. And what you want to do is aim up here at these two bangers, use your Alohomora spell, and then unlock this chest inside will be our first silver wizard card. Um, and basically, the 10 wizard cards for bronze, thank god it's fixed from number one. So here is Hasper Starkey, you get 10 each, you get an extra health bar, for the 10 silver ones, you get a silver key, which unlocks a special bonus ending if you watch my walkthrough, where you can get the 11 gold cards. So we've got, um, Jocelyn Wagcock here, she is holds the record for the amount of goals scored in season like 1935. It was like 48 goals or something crazy. Yes, there's number two. I'll see you in the castle for another silver wizard card for card number three. Our first day at Hogwarts school begins and we are here just outside the entrance hall. Uh, down from Gryffindor Tower. Upstairs we go. And Cheers. to get our third card, what you want to do is hit this statue here, jump onto this little platform, and the secret area opens up. And here we have Andros of the Invincible, another silver wizard card. He's a Greek guy from Greek, ancient Greece. He produced for Petronas a size of a giant. How brilliant is that? Off next to the Grand Staircase for card number four. We're speeding through these. Here we are. This game actually has a grand staircase. For the first time in four games, we've got one. But we don't want to go to the top just yet. No, no, no. We want to Hi, go to the bottom. Would you Avoid all the snake oil salesmen. It's coming around the hard and dirty box beans. Into this chest here for Everford the Ever Ready. He's just always ready for the jewel. He probably owned the Elder One, didn't he? The Nutter. He's always shouting at people. What to fight. He's definitely murdered and killed. That's our second bronze wizard card. Hi, card number would five you consider a tray? Is in the first spell challenge and there's lots in there. So let's get to it. So here we are in the first area of the spell challenge. Oh, I'm getting error overcoat. I've not had one of those in a long time. Um, and yes, here is the first challenge that I've not bothered about that. No, no, no. We want to get on this platform. Hit this fire from this ugly bugger into the hole. And as we raise up, we raise up to this chest. And in here is another wizard card. And it's Herman Windrunner, who's the bass, cello, whatever that instrument is, player of the Weird Sisters. We will get seven Weird Sisters in here, plus two non Weird Sisters. There should be nine cards from memory, if it serves me correct. We will see. But that's card number one in this area. Card number five overall. Let's get to card number six. So here we are in this like 
crazy area here where we've got snails, we've got fire crabs, and we want to focus on the fire crabs. All four of them to get the wizard cards so just knock them into their little cages. Their cages within cages. You know, how you how, how you name that is cages within cages. And this is to get the uh, present with like the wizard virus network, uh, the I believe her name is. I could be wrong there. Um but I don't think I am, so on here we go, into your little cage by crap, and out pops a chest, and it's a silver wizard card. So it goes towards our key collection. Open up. Perfect. And here she is, Glenda Chigook, the closer brothers of Wireless Network. Perfect, so let's get another one. So here we are, we've just come past the no hole at the bottom of the stairs, I'm not really doing that. Put the save book and come up the stairs here. Do not go into this area here with the wooden panels and this, because in to the right here there's a chest with a bronze wizard card in, and it's uh, the lead singer Myron Wagtail of the Way Systems. So what's that now? One, four bronze, three silver, so card seven that was. Lovely jubbly. So that's three overall in this area. There should possibly be six more to go. Let's keep going. We're back for more cars and back to knocking these uh, annoying little creatures into their holes to remember things so we can get to areas. It makes me miss very much. It makes me miss Wing and Levio to these things because it's just become so much at a point where you're just knocking every little thing into a hole. It's such a weird thing that we removed um, Wing and Levio from this game. But yeah, anyway, so you climb up this one here, come along here, and there's a uh, little kendo spot just to hit there to open up a secret area in the wall and out pops the bagpipe player because of course there's a bagpipe player in the Wind Sisters. Um, Gideon Crumbs I believe he's called and he's just what every Scottish man with a bagpipe should be. Don't be getting too complacent though because there's a card just at the bottom of here which I'll show you next. Straight off from Gideon Crumb we're dropping down here and into the right there's a little alcove, and in the alcove there's a chest. And in the chest, of course, there's a card, and it's another member of the Weird Sisters. Um, yeah, he's crazy. I can't read that, it's very small. You'll have seen his name though, and he's the bass player, the guitar player for the Weird Sisters. So what's that now? In this area, we've had two silvers, one, two. And we've had, oh, God, my screen's bugged out. One, two, so we've had five cards. Yeah, four more seems about right. So let's keep chugging along. So here we are, just running up some stairs. Oh, what the hell? So here we are, running up the stairs, there's a star at the top, that'll be my star, you will have seen that, don't worry about it, I've, I will have clicked more because I'm going back through it to do the stars, I'm actually not recording any of the star parts yet, but at the top, in this chest here, you guessed it, there's a wizard card, it's a bronze one, uh, it's a cello player, um, Merton Grimes, I God knows, uh, but yeah, he's the, the cello player for the Weird Sisters, just through this door where that star is, there's two more cards to get. So you've dealt with the two fire crabs here, you're collecting, this should be star number nine really, but for me it's just star number seven, but don't worry about that. And behind this here, so we'll turn right, and out pops the drummer, um, Orion Thurston, or whatever he is, yeah he's the drummer for the Way Sisters, but just right here there's another card, so don't rush too far, pass that save book, and get him now. So straight off the card we just got here, we are now going to walk towards this save book, but don't go into it, because here, hit the flipendo switch on the right, and out pops a wizard card. Another one, uh, this is like Kirby Dunk, I uh, think something like that. Oh uh, yeah, Curly Duke, he's just a, I don't even know what to describe this guy, he's just a crazy crazy guy, look at him. 
He's like a backup singer, guitarist, cross-dresser, all the things for Weird Sisters need. And I love him. He'd be my favourite of the band, I can tell you that now. He just looks like an icon. There's one more card to get in the defence against Dark Hearts, uh, Rich Semper Challenge. And we'll get that right now. The ninth and final card of this area is in here, this final room, just before the giant star to collect. Um, so what we need to do is not collect that giant star, no, no, no. We need to knock a few of these fire crabs into this little area here. Richard so if we get this one, get behind it, oh, mate, off you go, see you later, thank you very much. And then this one here, come on then mate. I think you can keep driving off and we'll have a go then. And what we'll do, boom. Perfect. Now, jumping with these fire crabs. Yes, it sounds crazy, but don't worry. We unlock this little block heart thing here, whatever it is. We're going to run all the way up the stairs. Run, run, run. I love them all of this. And then we'll step on this. Step on this. Ignore that stupid gnome. In the chest is the final winter card. It should be a silver one. And yeah, it's another member of the um, Weird Sisters. Uh, and he's just got brilliant hair. It looks like like one of those London uh, Tower Guards um, with actual hair. So there we go. Nine cards all in all in the first case Dark Tots area. We're already, at, we're already at 13. Seven bronze, six silver. I will see you. Um, what will be next? I'm guessing... Is there any in the grounds we'll be getting now? No? I think it might not be until we get to um, the Scourge Challenge. We won't be getting any more cards. I could be wrong, but we'll see where we end up. So here we are in the Scourge Challenge at the very start. There we go. There's the first challenge. But you don't care about that. That was our last part. What we want to do is jump down this, to this area here, down below. Unlock this awakening oh, this little crack. And in here is Bridge at Redlock. Gee, you found that number seven, the most powerful and magical number known to man. There she is. Um, bronze card number eight, Bridget Wenlock. I'm not too sure how many there is in this one. I think there's six, maybe seven. Um, so is it, yeah, six or seven in this area. Not as many as in the last spell challenge. But we're going to get them all, don't you worry. Some crowd favorites like Gregory the Smarmy. Um, there's a um, great catch love author of Chamion and Cheese and also the uh, guy who's the captain of the uh, British Gobstones team, so all from the head. So as you enter this room with the sliding sort of flipping door thing where you hit it from one end to the other, and you need to hit the gargoyle with your moss and not hit the gate, that'd be a bit silly. Veils a secret area in this wall here. This is where you're going to get yourself. I do believe this is Greg Hatchel. You'll already know who it is because I'll have edited it together. It'll be all nice and snazzy and all that jazz. But yeah, run, 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 all the way down. Hit this. Yeah, the door swings away. Whatever. We don't care about that. We care about getting to the end. And that falls down. We really don't care. All we care about is getting to the end of this tunnel here. There's a chest here inside. Is the wizard card? Like I say, it should be a catch off. It is another broken wizard card. Number nine, author of Charm Your Own Cheese. There's many more to get. Let's not stop now. And just as we come out of this area here, where the wooden guard will hit and flip out playing the flip end on door was, there's a little side room here. And in this chest is another wizard card. It should be a bronze one. Yeah, it's from Abby's Belby. Um, he's the first known uh, survivor of a left of hold tack. He looks a bit worse for wear though. But that is important because that's number 10. So that means we get an extra health bar. So 10 out of 50. Only 40 bronze ones to go now. Whoop whoop. So that's what number 3 overall in this area. There should be 4 more to get. Just coming down from where Flavius Bell was, we come to this sort of like raving claw sort of uh, el emblem here. And what we need to do is we need to get this snow. Come on, stop going that way. No, we need to go the other way, mate. Come on, other way. Other, oh, I can't get around him. 
Oh no. Very good. We're going to all the way down this hall. Till he lands on there to open up the portal. To get our fourth music card in this area. As we gain consciousness. We can't have him up. No, no, no. Down you go. In we go. Now pops another music card. Silver one. And this time it's full but fearful. We're so scared of going out and of everything. He was a big coward. Died when protective jar, uh, charms backfired and like his house caught basically. Poor, poor guy. But life goes on. So there's more cars. Let's keep going. Gotta collect them all, as Pokemon would say. Here we go, the Gregory of Smarmy. What you want to do is hit this gargoyle. Now, that come into this area. Pixie, pixie. Troublesome pixie and annoying itself, creatures they are. If they touch Just you, they will around. bite you. Really and weird and annoying me. Don't even care what Flick would say, to be honest. Hit the pixie. The and then hit this with a lot more. Drop through the secret area. Get this star if you want, and get the other star. They're yeah, really important. Not these fire crabs. What is important is this area here. Not the star again. Jump onto here, hit the flippendo switch, just there, and the secret area reveals itself. So we want to now turn ourselves back, do a big jump, and we can go into this area and get ourselves another silver wizard card. It's Gregory of Smarmy. He used his unoptionous poisonous potion, whatever it was, to worm his way in with rich and powerful people. Hence how he became good friends with Richard III, a king who died and was found under a car park in Leicester, if anyone's interested. There should be, I won't say one more card, but there could be two, but I think there's only one, it's Roland Keg. Let's go get it. So here we are in this crazy weird weight room I like to call it. Uh, and we need to have something drop from the ceiling. Um, we will get that. But we're also here mainly for the wizard card of Roland Keg, the last wizard card in this section. And what we need to do is just run up these stairs, so run, 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 as fast as we can, as so little legs can take us. And when we get to the top, we need to get to, to a secret area just at the back of here. And in that golden chest, forget about the gnomes, it's all about not the basement uh, tree. There's a card inside. And there we have it. Roland Keg, he's the uh, England champion uh, captain for Gobstones. And I always used to always think that was like a spell hitting him, but no, it's for Gobstones squirting his ratty face, the poor guy. But there we have it, all the cards for this section. And then let's just see. 11 and 8, so 19 cards all in all so far. Lots more to get. So here we have it, we've learned Scourge, and we can get a new card in the little area here below the Grand Staircase. So when you run along here, you're looking for, so there's the Grand Staircase, you're looking for this part here, where you can blow them over it, jump up, and just scourge away. And this is for Daisy Dogger, the first landlady of the Cauldron. So jump up, I believe she's a, a silver card, but I could be wrong. I'm not. Here we go, silver. Number nine, so one more before we get our first key. Silver card, whoop whoop. Let's keep going. We'll see you for exploring the dungeons. So here we are down in the dungeons and we're going on an adventure to find some potion ingredients for some polyjuice potion. But first of all, before we go and explore there, what you want to do is come onto this right hand side here. Blue Moss for Gargoyle, come down, scourge the gate, and we should be getting the Monty, no, it's Gaspar Shimonti, so we invented the self scaring cauldron. And it's number 10 on the Silver Wizard card, we're getting our first key, there's 30 more of them to go, and there he is, looking very proud, like, yes, I've just invented the self scaring cauldron. Lots to get in this little area here, I think there's maybe 5 to 6, we'll see if I'm right, let's get to exploring. So here we go, walking along this beautiful green sludge bridge. And we come to a little uh, crossroad just before you can go down here into the little snow. First up first, on the left hand side, you have a wizard card. 
It's Clan More Peaks for Sam Sleeshair, Sea Slayer of um, a Monster. It's basically like the Kraken. Um, so yes, no bronze card, but right behind us, there's a silver card. Let's get that one. So, right from where we just got Glamour Peaks, just here near this green sludge, just before the snail room, turn to the right and the Lohomora, this little secret area, evil face thing, all crazy. In this chest, which should be a silver wizard card, which there is, and it's of Crispin Cronk, who's a very naughty man. He kept sphinxing in his back garden and was sent off to Azkaban. Tut tut tut. So 12 bronze, 11 silver. So Let's keep the hunt going. So we're in the second snail room. The, top, the first one is at the top of here and they come down sort of like the crazy area with the green sludge below. When you come into this snail room where you have to lock the snails up in the little prisons. Come to the right and behind these two pillars here on the entrance there's a bronze wizard card. It's Cornelius Agrippa. The crazy muggle writing guy who was imprisoned by muggles for his writing. So that's three in this area so far. There should be at least two more. There might be three. I'm going to need two. Let's keep going. So just given the snail room where we just got Cornelius and Gripper, coming out here, we do have this moment. We've no, got chest, which just has beans. In this little area here, to the left, a lot more of this. I mean, here it should be a silver wizard card. It is silver, and it's um, Nutcom, uh, Gloria Nutcom, I believe her first name is. I probably am not Honora, something like that. She's an evil hag, basically. I can't remember what she's exactly famous for, but there we go, another silver wizard card. Getting out of this area here with the red carpet, you know, where they've got all the crazy doors and stuff like that. Coming into the sort of main portion of the room, there's a chest right in front with a bronze card in. It's Miranda Goshawk who wrote the standard book of grey spells that you use, or students use, at the school. So a nice easy one. I believe that is it until we are in Professor Snape's classroom. I knew there was one more in this area, that's why I kept saying I think it was six, and that I was right at the start. The last one, so once you've done all the parkour, all, the, all these cool wooden things, you open the door, and look into the right, there's a silver wizard card in here. Oh, it's a bronze one, I don't, I don't know what I'm wrong about, do I? It's Grogan Stumpbow, he's the first Minister for Magic, so we're at 15 of this bronze ones. It is definitely the last one, that one. I will see these six clash one, two more. So here we are in Professor Snape's classroom and we've got to be very sneaky and quiet and we don't really. So what we're going to do is go run straight forward from where we exit into this chest here and there is a bronze wizard card. It's going to be Elder of Gorsmore, the one that, you know, she's the crazy one guy. Which statue? There's a statue of her that goes to Hogsmeade, she's the uh, humpback witch. Um, yeah, she's all the things. We've got her, she's famous for inventing a potion. We've got one more to get here in Sip's classroom, a silver wizard card. So let's get to it. So for the next card in Snape's classroom, we've just got to run straight up Snape's wall where the entrance is over I'm here. I'm in the potions part. I love Scourge there. Step on this and some steps raise up. Um, and we get like some potion where has got like a split personality. She seems to be a bit evil. So let's go run up and get her. Boom. Into here. And the card is ours. We'll show you her. So that's card number 13 in the silver section. Um, yeah, look at her. Crazy, crazy woman. I will see you out in the grounds just before Herbology. So I'm on my way to Herbology with Ronald Wisby. We're going to the Herbology area here, just to the far right of the castle. But we're not going in with the class. No, no, no. We're going to look over the door. Hit that. A secret area opens up, and you know what that means. It's time to get the wizard card. Of course, it's in the, it's in the bonus card. Of 
Yes. Uh, but no. In the chest, Silver was a card. It's Cyprian Rialdo, the f uh, last known referee who was killed in a quiz match. The perpetrator was never caught. Ooh, poor guy. Here we are, outside the herbology class. Don't go inside the class, bro, because we need to come down here towards this chest. There's another wizard card, of course. Boom, out pops. Pull the gull be or something. You know, gull of a pork be a crazy bird guy with a crazy weird nose. Lovely jubbly, only three more to the 20 mark, and we get another health bar. So here we are in the Herbology Defender Spell Challenge and we've got these uh, loot snails and we've got in their place but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to be hitting all four of these crazy ugly buggers face uh, for the window switches. Hitting all four opens up a secret area and inside the secret area we've got a card so a sneaky little one there. Um, it's a silver one, um, it's another wizard card, she's got a brilliant name, another referee, I believe she was the first ever women referee of the game, which is awesome, so that's a nice easy one, I think there's five more, I think there's six in this one, I could probably be wrong, there's probably like eight, but off the top of my head I think there's six more in this area, so yeah, we'll save us seven, we're going to save us six more, so let's keep collecting. So for the next card, we're in the little drawbridge area here. Um, and walking into this grand nice building, just as we come in, to the left, there is another wizard card, it should be a bronze one this time, it is, I believe it's Merlin the Malicious, who was called Merlin, uh, or Merlwing, and was malicious, just an evil bugger, um, from the medieval times, look at him, evil. Now for a bit of a long winded card for this one, so you're at a point where you've got this swinging thing here, there's a few stars about it, and we're going to go a bit of an adventure. So first things first is to run across this statue, and then run, run, run up the stairs. Um, obviously don't cut this down because there is a star, not that you need the star uh, for the card, but I'm just going to go out here, then cut the rope. There's a star there. Behind here, in this chest, is a card. It's Uric the Oddball. Another medieval guy. Crazy medieval fella who wore a jellyfish on his head. So, yeah, we've just got Uric the Oddball. Um, so, if you're looking, just get the Uric the Oddball. You can the Cast at this, which then drops down there. We can run, run back, run, run back, walk along here, jump, spread your arms, like your heart. Hit this into here, and inside here is the next wizard card. So again, we're in the Fingo Challenge if you just skip past, but just go back to where you're at the old ball was and explain all this area out. Uh, it's not how you've got the Lumos, you've got the wooden block, you get the block, and you get yourself doing Shipley. He was the crazy guy who ate in Venomous Tentacular, survived, but he's still purple. So here we are in the guarding area of the Defender Spell Challenge, where he first introduces the Venomous Tentaculars. You just run on through. There's a chest down there, it's just got things, don't you worry. And then walk up onto these stairs. There's a star, and then there's also a little uh, sort of like rope, like a wooden balance thing here. Cut one of the ropes, don't cut both, because we need to run up here onto this area. And then we're going to Alohomora into here. Uh, there should be a star if you guys wanting to know where some stars are. Just go, and collect, just go check out the last video. But at the very end, there's also a wizard card. And I've actually lost track of how many we've got. This might be number five, it could be number six already. But in here, another silver wizard card, and it is. Um, something skull, yeah, bit, bit of a short fat man, probably did something cool, I actually can't remember what he's famous for, but another silver wizard card, only three more to get before the second key. So here we are in the big house, uh, towards the end of a Defindo spell challenge, and you get to this sort of like underground area, and you've got a Defindo through the branches and the, the 
Then just run up to the top, there's a little uh, spider's web here, and there's some stairs up to the top. I'm going to run, run, run. It is a bit of a little trick, I'm giving you a bit more of a glance. When you get to here, you're just going to cut the rope here to form a bridge. And then we're going to run straight ahead at this wall here, a local moment, and at the bottom, there will be a card waiting for us right here. And it should be at Eladora Ketterich, I do believe, and it is. She was the one who discovered the uses of Gillyweed. And there we have our 20th wizard card, so 37th overall, uh, 20th bronze, and we've got a little bar. Whoop, whoop. So just very shortly on from the last one in the Defender Spell Challenge, just over there where we've got Eldor and Ketterich. When you come in here, there's another secret area just before we go downstairs with the spiders right here. There's a spider's bed inside. Open this chest and you get yourself another card. And this guy was like a breeder of festivals and horses and stuff. He was a crazy, crazy guy. He does look like a horse racing mag. There's one more to get inside the Spell Challenge for Defender. Um, and we're at 21, 17, being number 39. For the final card and card number 39, we're in the final part of the Defingo Spell Challenge where you've got the area with the Lumos thing, and that's the final star. And what we need to do, it's a bit of a long winded one, it involves all these snails and putting them into place. It's what I meant earlier on when watching all of it. I'll just catch you you do this way too much and I'm doing this one dad with the so put this snail in this one. Perfect. And what we're going to do, we're going to blow up more of this, we're going to put a snail down there. But first of all, we need to put two snails in this very enclosed little area here into this one to unlock it again. And we get a second, a third bone snail, I beg your pardon, to get the card. Here it is. So hit this snail all the way down here. Boom, boom, boom. If we ever get there, oh dear, and there we have it, into there we go, a lot more of the chest, card 39, it's a silver one, it's this crazy guy, he turned all his sons into hedgehogs, he's all seven, because they were squibs, poor guys, little hedgehogs, is are yeah, cute though. But that's it for the Defend Your Spell Challenge. I'll see you outside in the Hogwarts grounds. So here we are, right outside the Herbology Spell Challenge we've just completed. We can finally get some more cards. So what you want to do is hit this with a lot of work and use your new Defend Your Spell. And in the chest right here is a bronze wizard card and this should be normal twonk and it is and he was a good guy he i think he got an order of merlin first class for saving some people or like a muggle girl or something like that so well done to you my friend so just where we've got normal twonk from uh, out here in the Findor area of the uh, grounds just from there's the main entrance down these stairs you can use this lunar statue here and then what you want to do is quickly run, run as fast as you can. Don't speak to wrong. He's a ginger man. <laughs> but no, run towards this wall here, and we can get a silver wizard card and the new Bella Plunkett. So up the stairs we go. Plod, plod, plod. And to the right here, we have the chest. And the chest. Here she is. Good old Mirabella Plunkett. She was um, a crazy teenager who fell in love with a, um, a merman. Parents didn't like it, so she turned herself into a haddock, never to be seen again. So here we are, running through the greenhouses, through the back of the greenhouses, towards the next mission. And we're off to get another wizard card. We're going no wrong. We're going to go to collect a being here for no reason whatsoever. I've not been collecting beings at all in this playthrough. And just here, down the side, is a chest in there. Haha, -ha, got to get some beans in there. You need to use the thing up here and then open this part up to get yourself the actual man, um, Bulmore Marjorie Banks, who 
found Gear of the Week, but didn't find it uses. So he's a bit of a useless man, to be honest. God knows why he's a wizard card, but he is. There we go. So for this next card, we are in the area, in the like, greenhouse area, doing the level where we're getting the uh, Shrey Boomstone skin. So we're on the, after the Defindo level, doing the actual Herbology level, and you're in this little area here. Um, with the Venom's tentacles to make sure the things are rotating around and just to get two greenhouses. Quite a short amount of mission. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump up and it's into the second part of it. So what you want to do is come into here, which is the second room. Um, cut, you want to cut this rope. So we'll cut the rope first, that's just for the mission. Yeah, yeah, I don't. But what you actually want to do is put the end of a switch here and use the blue moss on this statue and quickly run to the next area because there's a secret wall hiding a wizard card, of course. So quickly get here. And here we have it. The wizard card. It should be silver one from memory. My memory serves me correct. And that is our 20th silver wizard card, so it's our second key. So we've got what? 43 wizard cards, is it? Yes. And it's Satrisha Tugwood who uh, is a character in Hogwarts Legacy. She was a student, someone I predicted would be in the game. And yeah, she's like a beauty potion person. It's a bit annoying in Hogwarts Legacy, to be honest. But another good one for our collection. Only one more in this area. <laughs> Next card up, we have to get into this greenhouse here. So what we do, we step on this unlock a bridge to get to the Shrey's Boomslang skin. Shredded Boom Slang skin. I sound like I'm drunk. Uh, I'm not yet. But don't collect that just yet because you need to come down to the left and in here is a bronze wizard card of this lovely woman, Tilly Talk, who saved a lot of people when a dragon attacked a beach and got an order of Merlin first class. Isn't she nice? The next two cards are in Dumbledore's office. Ooh. No, we're not room in Gryffindor common room. I told a lie. Sorry. Now we have Defindor, we can explore the Gryffindor common room and get two cards. It's good to see you again, Harry. Fat lady, or the pink lady, she's called him a stupid American version because I'm guessing all uh, Americans look like that. But in the gold chest here, we have our first card. You don't need a um, Defindor for this one, but I've just like seen it. You need Defindor for the other one. So for this card, card number what, 45, we have ourselves um, Armoric Sawbridge, who was like a drag uh, troll killer, not a giant killer, uh, or a dragon killer, a troll killer. And look at that sword. No wonder it killed a lot of dragons. And trolls, what is wrong with me? Onto the one that requires Defindo. Card 46, and we're here in the Gryffindor common room. And what we need to do is to head up towards the boys' dormitory. So run, run, run around these stairs. Uh, you do need Defindo for this one. Uh, that's why I've saved it till this time. So bugger off, Percy. Aim in the ceiling at this switch here. It's a very sneaky one, this one. And then what happens is when you use Defindo here, and at the bottom of the stairs, a secret component opens up where we can run in and use our um, Alohomora to get to this silver wizard card, I believe it is. Who is you have seen who it is already, but here he is. Silver wizard card, it's Gwen Jones, captain of the whole head half. As I said, here he is. Here she is. There's a few more I'm going to get now using the Findo in the Hogwarts hub area. Two to be exact. So here we are in the main Hogwarts hub, you know, in the Hogwarts entrance hall. We're going to go towards the Gryffindor common room over here, but not there because right here is a mirror. Use your diff new Gryffindor spell on it. Is it new anymore? I don't know. Anyway, and here we are in this area, we have a new car. It's Bowman Wright, another silver card, inventor of the Golden Snitch, because of course before it was a Golden Snitch, the little flying bird Poppy saves in Hogwarts Legacy. It all rhymes, it all connects. On to the next. So, we're going towards the Beans bonus room this time, but we're not going to show you that, because who cares about the Beans bonus room if you get just collecting cards? No, no, no. 
Before you enter, on the left here, the lower home orifice, you then need to use Spongify, uh, sorry, Scourge, and then Defindor to drop down here to get the card. So you need both Scourge and Defindor if you have Scourge. If you have Defindor, you'll have Scourge. And you get yourself another silver one in Mopsus, the famous Greek person who's just got the best name ever. Mopsus. Mopsus. You know, it's an amazing name. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, there we go. On to Dumbledore's office now. So here we are, with being this a naughty be boy. Oh, how being a naughty boy? And we're in Dumbledore's office. And as well, while we're here for the story, there are two wizard cards. The first of which is right at the back here, in this little study area. Um, so I'll come out from this chest and you get Bulldog Muldoon, who in like the 1400s was part of a chief wizard m madness m warlock thing. You know the jizz, the jazz. Don't say the jizz, please don't. One more to get. So here we have it. Oh god, we're in Dumbledore's office because we're a bad little boy. We've already got one wizard card, but we're going to also get another wizard card up this area here. Come up the stairs, hit the switch, and the bookcases become a lift. So get on your lift. Then we can run across. It's not even in a chest, it's just out. It's Oswald Beamish or whatever he's called. Yeah, Oswald Beamish. He was a in me. I thought he was going to be Hogwarts Legacy because he's around in the eighteen hundreds, and he's a Goblin Rights pioneer. But sadly, he was nowhere to be seen. But that's all it for Dumbledore's office. So here we are outside Dumbledore's office, near the Defense Against Dark Arts classroom. She's right here. We're going to run inside Defense Against, against the Dark, dark Arts classroom, classroom because we're not going to see Gildor in that color. No, 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 that way, uh, fraud man. No, no, no. We're climbing on this uh, ledge here because in this we have an opera singer who brought the house down and made everything crazy. I think she disappeared, but here she is, absolute stop beauty of a, a voice, most likely. And yeah, 27, 24. Lots of lots of fun. So we're going on to the corridor where the Charms classroom is and where Mrs. Norris was petrified. But more importantly where the Charms classroom is, because that's where we're heading now to get oh. another card. So here we are, come to the right. Here's the Flipwick's Charms classroom. Where our card is. Here. That's another bronze one. We're two more away from getting 30, which is amazing. And it's both or bling. God knows what he's famous for, but he looks like a weirdo. Here we are in the Goyle Challenge, I like to call it, when you go and get Goyle's hair. So we come from a dungeon. But here we go, into this weird area here, where it's all bright and light and above ground. It's really weird. Whatever. Um, so what we want to do first, don't run up the stairs. You want to come across into this grassy area and look across from all these buildings. And in this gold chest, we have another wizard card. It's Rob Van Peter, a man who caught the snitch for three and a half seconds. And probably asked, made a lot of people ask for their money back, for their tickets for the game. One more before we get to our third health bar. And what are we on now? 54 cards. Lovely jubbly. Over halfway. So here we are in a big manor house, which just doesn't feel like Hogwarts at all. And we're here to get Ignatius Wildsmith, so just fall on the floor, Harry. You do you, mate. And what we need to do, first of all, because she's up there, is hit this guy down to get our new spell going. And then we're going to do a bit of parkour, a bit of improvising to get ourselves the uh, person who we make, the witch who we make the flu powder. Um, so yeah, jump across like this. I, it's, I did this first time in the actual walkthrough. Of course I'm not going to do it the first time in this hammer. There we go. Onto here, quick before it, it closes up. Into here. Boom, and a chest right here. Thank you for a silver wizard card, Ignatia Wildsmith. The witch who invented flu powder.
So here we are in this sort of like grassy area now, where you got you can go up there to that room up there or this way, and we're going to go this way up to the right hand side for the yeah for that. Um, and on to here. Oh god, I've mi mixed up all my words here, yeah, into this house here, for the next time. It's a bit like a little trail to get to the top, so you've got to defeat some animals. We do this, get you in there, get you in there, but you can actually get the card before you get to the top. So hit the chest, the card pops out, it's a wrong wizard card, is it? It is, and it's the one of the blocks, and we get ourselves another health bar. She wrote the uh, book, the little kids book where you couldn't put it down at mid I believe, something crazy like that. But there's an area in the game where she's listed 16 years old and not the 86 or 106 she should be. So we're back in the big house and we're fighting another giant fire crab because that's all we seem to be doing at the moment. Fighting fire crabs, fight fire with fire. And you can come to this area here. Well, we use the moss, but you don't want to go straight along. No, no, no. What you want to do first of all is unlock this Alohomora and walk along the sides behind the gargoyle to get the chest up here. In this chest, of course, is a wizard card. That's why else am I showing you? Uh, it's Devil in Whitehorn. And you won't be. You probably think, who the hell's Devil in Whitehorn? Well, he's the creator of the Nimbus. Um, why is he not just called it the Nimbus 2000 or the Whitehorn 2000 of Nimbus? I have no idea. Terrible branding. Shame on you, Whitehorn. So here we are in this area getting Goyle's hair. We've just got that card of Devil in Whitehorn. We're in this area where you can just go straight forward. There's a guy going up there. But we want to go into that area there to get to card. A fourth of this area. So we need to get all in red. So under, under. There we go. All three reds and we can get ourselves another wizard card. And there's one more in this area. It's towards the end of the level. Here he is. Edgar Stroller inventor of the sneaker scope. We're in the last area, the little farm area for getting ghost hat. Like where the hell are we in Hogwarts here? We're like a like a barn. It just it doesn't feel like Hogwarts at all in this area. It's really weird we being in the dungeon and now we're like an old McGoyle had a farm. What is going on? But we're here to get the final wizard card in this area. So when we walk on here Cut this bridge, you don't win my bad leg boilers. Just going to here. Um, back, back, please. And we need to cut the rope. And in this golden chest, we have Cersei, who was a Greek goddess who lured Cersei with her beauty and turned them into pigs. So that's 26 add what? 32? So what would that mean? 52 add 6 is 58. We're getting up there now, almost the big 60. Ooh, let's keep cracking uh. along. Well, who is this ugly mug we've got here? This isn't Harry. No, 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 we've taken some polyjuice potion in Morgan Myrtle's bathroom and we've become Gregory Goyle. So we're here in the bathroom and right in this chest here, just across from the sink, whatever chamber of secrets is, there's a bronze wizard card of Cassandra and Blasky. This is probably the only time you can get it. I might be wrong, but I always get it here anyway. And she's the famous say and author of Unfog in the Future, who predicts her death because this gave 92, but she died till 97. So yes, we'll be getting quite a few more as Gregory Goyle on his exploration down to the Slivering Common Room. I believe it's one, two, three, four, five. I believe there'll be five cards more. So let's get them. So here we go. As Goyle, I actually missed this card. I said five in the last little card section, but no, it's six. So we're here in the dungeons. We're going down this right hand side here, which is towards where the entrance to the Slivering Common Room is. So you watch this boy going, he says pure, pure blood. blood. 
be a blessing. Get out of there. Oh. Why not go run straight in there? There is a card down here. Uh, and it's good to get it now because you need literally all your spells. You need a Findo, you need Lumos, you need um, Scourge as well. So, first up is Scourge on this part here, then Lumos. And you run to his back corner here where his pillar, where you need to use the Findo on the road to drop the. Uh, Drop the uh, platform the floor to get a silver wizard card of Wendelin the Weird. She's a crazy woman who liked to get herself burnt at the stake so much she got burnt at the stake like 47 times. Absolute mental. So here we go. We're at the area where you need to pull up the bridge again. Our card is down that area down there. So we need to come into this first area here. And on this little right hand side, flipendo this, and have the flipendo switch, which opens up this secret area right here. So, run down these stairs, boom, 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 and there are three things we've got to hit to open out some blocks to jump on. So, hit this one, bottom one comes out, hit this one, middle one, then, yeah, you hit the third one, this top part comes out. So now we can do a bit of parkouring to get ourselves the card and I believe it's Elfrida Clag um, off the top of my head again you'll have seen it before because my beautiful editing but I don't know if I'll be right. Jump into here, get the card, it is Silver Wizard card Elfrida Clag who was like the first witch on the Wizard Gamot in like the 1700s. The first card you get in Chamber of Secrets PS2 funnily enough, on to the next. So we're in this second area now where you need to use Lumos to come down to get into the third and final area down there. But we're not going that way. No, no, no. What we're going to be doing is using Lumos and going on this crazy platforming parkour down this area because there is a card at the bottom. And this is the most annoying part because if you fall here, you go back to the very start of the level and it's so infuriating. So just be careful, be slow. Yeah, and we've still got Lumos here, so the door will remain open. Into here, finally, we can get some beans and the card. The card's in the gold one, the beans in the black one, and it's the card of Adalbert Waffling, the famous magical theoretician. There's three more to get in the slivering area, so let's get to it. Up next, we're in the like, main corridor that heads towards the slivering common room. But we don't want to head down the corridor, no, no, no. We want to come to this portrait here, the upside down thing. Down here, we're going through the secret area to a library. And in the library, we can get ourselves another bronze card, I believe it is. The way to do it is hit this switch here, which lowers the bookcases down for a bit of a parkour challenge. And you jump on all three, and when you jump on the third one, a little hole appears here. Inside, of course, is the wizard card. It's a bronze one, and it's like Phileas Pickywickle, Pillywickle, something like that. Um, we'll have a look at him once we collect him, because I absolutely butchered that. So yeah, uh, yeah, Asterius Pillywickle. He's like a judge lawyer, I actually don't know, but there we go, he looks cool. And yeah, we're at 35 bronze, 28 silver, we're doing really well. So we're here outside the Slivering Common Room, and we're not going into it just yet, no, no, no. So outside the Slivering Common Room is this statue, and there's two Slivering Emblems, left and right. Hit both of them, and the Dragon Statue falls down reveal a secret area with a secret card in. A lot of more of this to get ourselves another card. It's Morgan Le Fay. She's King Arthur's half-sister, enemy of Merlin, an evil sorceress. Maybe not in that order, but any order you think. We've got one more to get the third key and there'll be ten silver cards left. So we're outside the Slivering Common Room, we've just got this card here by unlocking the Slivering Emblems and we're just going to go down to the right here, into this doorway where there's an ugly baby face frying water out of its mouth. Aloha Morit, 
it opens up and there is a card inside for us. It's a bronze card and it's round the plat. The serial goblin killer. That's it for the slivering area. Up next will be the Spongify Spell Challenge. Here we are in the, uh, not the Defindor Spell Challenge, we're in the Spongify Spell Challenge in the first area as soon as you come in. And what we need to do is get rid of some gnomes first of all. Throw that one in there and where's the other bugger? Yeah, you keep running that one for me please mate, make it easy. And then chuck him in. We get this secret area open up here with a Lumos which creates a ledge and we can jump on up to there. So jump forward. No. Try that again. Okay, never mind. What we're going to do then, we're going to jump up here. We're going to jump across. I think that's what you're meant to do. But I try and do it the other way. And in here, this chest here, is the card. It's Merlin. It's from Wizard. The first Wizard card you ever get in a new game. It's Merlin. Medieval. Dates unknown. Most famous Wizard of all time. Sometimes known as Prince of the Enchanter. But it's not the only card in this area. Let's get the second. So here we are in the Spongify Spell Challenge in the first area. We have just got the card of Merlin in this area here. So you bounce up after putting the gnomes in there. And what you need to do is a lot more of this. It's the sneakiest card of the game, I think. I absolutely never used to believe this was here. I never knew where it was. I don't even know where the hell is it. And it's right here. And it's a silver wizard card of Xavier Raystrick. And that's our 30th silver card. So our third key. Ten to go. Yeah, Xavier Raystrick, he was a crazy guy. I think he just disappeared and was never seen again in an act. Poor guy. But let's keep going. So carrying on into the Defindo spell challenge, we're in this big room here where there's the Flipendo uh, block, there's the Imps, the Star up here, but we're not even worrying about any of that just yet. So let's just get rid of these Imps, put them in their place, get away, get away. What we're going to do is get this Imp in our hands, because we need to unlock a secret area. Oh god, this one's coming back to life. Quick, get it in there. <laughs> Oops. And then, yeah, just knock them next over. Just, uh, the reason I knock them all over is because um, they are so annoying. They run up to you and bite you and then the other one comes back to life. Stuff like that. So just wait for this other one. Just come back. Knock him out again. Then throw him in the hole. And what happens is a Lumos platform appears here. Not a Lumos platform, a Lumos gargoyle. And then we can run into the wall to get the card. And it's Quampo, uh, a famous Chinese wizard. Uh, I don't know what he did, unfortunately, but he was a famous Chinese wizard. That's all I know. That's card number 38. It's card number 68, that. What? 33 to go. Not more. A lot much more to do. Still in the Spongify Spell Challenge, we're at the area now with these three bars with the switch, the star at the top. It's just after a big room with the imps where we just got Quampo. And the fire crab is the important thing here for getting the card. So we need to drop down not all four fire crabs into their little holes. So get that one here. Bye bye, Mr. Crab. Get away, you scumbag. No, get in the hole. We're playing golf. Get in the hole. Just get the other two. Come on. Go. And once you've got all four in, a secret area appears with a chest at the bottom. I just need to make sure I'm looking at the right way. I am. There we go. Silver Wizard card. It's Dimpra Furnish, who requested all pixies be put down humanely after she was attacked by them. But of course, she failed. A few more to get in this area. Don't you worry. So just after the area with the three bars, things like that, we're coming into this area, which is the sneakiest room of the game. I, even probably more sneaky than the last one. There's this random portrait by see through where you can get some beans, but more importantly, this random upside down painting here, where you need to flip endo, go lower yourself down, to get another silver card, and it's the inventor of cheering charms, 
Felix Summerby, who was the first card from Chamber of Secrets PS1. Eight more silvers to go. Out here in the grounds for the final three cards, two of which required um, Spongify. The first of which is here. So Spongify onto here and the wizard version of Amelia Earhart. Cause, uh, sorry, cause, uh, Jacunda Sykes is right here. She flew uh, a solo broom around the Atlantic. Let's get the other two. So, we're still here in the grounds and we're going to go back down to the, the, the Defender area. Alohomora this again. We're going to go back to the same area. We had the uh, card for Mirabella Plunkett. So, that secret area there. So, run up there as quick as we can. Onto here. And there's a weighted platform we can jump on. Right here. Boom. Which unveils a secret area in that wall there. And the reason we can get it last time is because we needed to have a um, spongify. So we can spongify this to get the head of the um, Quitch League, aptly named in its acronym, Waffle. And there we go. Olgerberg, bold glasses, snooty face. We have him. So here we are outside Hagrid's hut, just as if the card to the last command, the poor fella. Um, but what's more important is to actually get the wizard card back and get around this area. I think it's one of Poppy Sweeting's relatives, I take it. It is Havelock Sweeting who ran like a conservationist for uh, unicorns. And he's just here, uh, jump on the log and then jump up to get him. It's nice and easy to get. Um, and like I say, yeah, Havelock Sweeting. Nice little unicorn man. Looks a bit like Prince Charles or. Uh, from Prince Charles, <laughs> Prince Charming from Shrekville, so that's always a bit disconcerting. We're now going to be in the Fibonacci Forest, where there are lots of cards to get, and we should have it should leave us with one bronze wizard card to get at the very end in the Chamber of Secrets. So here we are at the very start of the Fibonacci Forest, and we've got our first card. What we want to do is hit the good old. Um, to get this invisible sort of secret uh, room or um, spell. Uh, this is to actually just get the rooms going, uh, so we do the main mission stuff as well as getting uh, a card. So then we jump across to the next one. Um, there's some other troopers now, we just do it again. There's a card, uh, not a card, so there's a chest here with beans and stuff like that. Um, which I'll just go through it. I'm not going to really care about it. But yeah, more importantly, drop that down. Fall down onto one of the logs. Uh, don't go forth, no, no, no. Jump back here and where this flipendo is, we can flipendo it in the secret area. At the very end, there was a pushing of like a, a waterfall or something. I don't know what it is. You can get yourself a Um I think she did something with you know potions or something like that, but yeah, I'm not too sure what she's famous for. But I'll use one silver wizard card before the completion of all of them, all 40, and we get the final key. So here we are, just on this little bouncy bouncy part, and you can see the card of Gifford Ollerton right there. So you think, oh, we'll go up to there, bounce them back to it, but no, 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 we must bounce all the way down to the very bottom, so bounce all the way back up, just to get it. Let's go look at this bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. So yeah, don't go along there just yet. What you want to do is bounce back up and you can get yourself the... Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. There we go. You bounce over there and you get yourself Gifford Ollerton who killed, like, Hengist of Upper Barton or something like that with that great axe of his. There's two more in a cave just where we came from. So let's go get there. So here we go, right just where we left off, just jumping back here where the card was up there for Gifford Ollerton, we're going into this cave, we have two in here, I believe the first one is a silver wizard card, what you need to do is get rid of all the spiders, but you've got to be careful because if you go past the area where the spiders are, 
you know, closes itself off and you can't come back to get the card. So you just destroy all the spiders what you see and all the spiders in like a secret area. So you don't destroy that big web just yet. What you want to do is destroy this one and then hit this spider and the secret compartment over here opens up. And I believe it's Gillifin Oliver, the final silver wizard card. You'll have already seen it, of course, but we'll see in a second. Uh, and like, yeah, if it is them, either get killed by trolls or they kill some trolls. It's one of the two. I was right. The final silver wizard card, all 40. It's like a Robin Hood person, yeah, who either was killed by trolls or got eaten by trolls, you know, killed a lot. So there's all four silver keys, all 40 silver wizard cards, that allows us to get all the gold cards. So let's complete the last four bronze cards. So we've just got all four of the silver, wizard, uh, silver keys from the game, all 40 of the silver wizard cards. And we are in this cave section here where there's lots of spiders, as you can see, I'm not them all out. When you get to the top where there's this big giant web, so you destroy the giant web here with your face, and you collect this fire, uh, fire crop, chocolate frog, um, and out pops um, this person. And I, uh, they've got a crazy name. Uh, yeah, Petunia, yeah, I do know she she died in 1991 and she discovered stuff with the stars, things like that. But that leaves us with three bronze cards to go. There should be two in this area Newt's Commander and one other. I can't remember who it is, and that will leave one to get in the Chamber of Secrets. So, still up exploring the Forbidden Forest, you come up to this area where you can cut a rope on a tree just near some old truckles, things like that. And um, it sort of forms these, um, yeah, like things you can climb upon uh, to jump across up there. You can also climb up the tree. But more importantly, um, when we get to the top there, uh, it's the second to last wizard card. So let's just hit these things and bounce up. Boom. And then what we want is this chest in there to get the f what's third to last bronze wizard card. Oh, come on. Okay, well done. Took us a while to jump, but there we go. And in here, like I said, I can't remember who it is. Um, oh, there we go. Dorcas Wellbeloved, of course. Founder of the Society of the Distressed Witches. You can get her in Chamber of Secrets PS1 uh, in the car flying car scene. I do know what the penultimate bronze wizard card is. It's just towards the very end of the Fibonacci Forest. It's Newt's Commander. So let's go get him. So here we are, time to get the penultimate Bronze Wizard card, and card 89 all in all. Um, no, sorry, 88 all in all. Because yes. No, 89, yeah, because there's a level 101. So 89, you knock down this tree and you start to walk across. Harry then slips all the way down. Instead of going through that spider's web there, you want to come to the back here. And in this chest, here is the Roots Commander. And that completes our collect card collection card in the Fibonacci Forest, the 49th Bronze Wizard card. Number 50, that is in the Chamber of Secrets. But yeah, of course, everyone knows Newt's Commander now. He's had three films. He wrote Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. What is more to say? I'll see you down in the chamber. Right. Rictus Emperor. Here we are, the final wizard card is in this area of the Chamber of Secrets. You'll know it's there because when you see that snail fall to its death. And this area is such an annoying parkour area. So basically, you before you start jumping up and stuff like that, just hit the pixies so you know you're not going to be killed by them. And then fire yourself off. And then what we need to do is cut the ropes on both sides. So there is the wizard card. And then just make sure jumping on the way down rather than the way up because if you jump on the way up you just go fall miss it and fall to your death and it'll be embarrassing so there's the first side done so we need to go around to the second side and do the exact same thing so once again hit the pixies just get rid of them and then we can go bouncy bouncy and there we go that comes down but we need the weight down for the card so on the way down this time we're going to make the jump Cut the rope. That falls into place. If floor won't collapse, we can get the 50th and final Bronze Wizard card. Which means there's only 11 to get after this. And of course, we will get that extra health bar. Um, there we go. 
score. 90 cards collected. There's 11 goals collected. A special bonus ending, which we'll do. It's a basilisk of pieces. But there we go. Wilfred Elfric, he the first known victim of like the Eurumphant Horn. As luck as he walks down and realise the guy's dead. Let's just defeat the basilisk and then get these 11 special goal wizard cards. We have made it, we have got to the end of the year, we've got all 50 bronze cards, we've got our health bar, we've got all 40 silver cards, which allows us to enter this cool little bonus area for the end of the game, where you can collect the last 11 cards, all of which are gold, and it's in this really cool area, you co it combines all your spells, it's a really fun little like task, like a little spell challenge, and obviously they're all hidden behind here and it's a really cool thing when you unlock them it's like a little museum area this and yeah i just absolutely love it it's my favorite bonus i give of any potter game i don't think any other one comes close so here we go into the last spell challenging area and you've got a little time to get them all but don't worry you will have more than enough time so first up we just need to knock over all these uh, five crabs without losing health and i'm actually failing at it um, why is my mouse not working correctly? Oh god, I've actually lost all, almost all my health. Jesus Christ. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you just need to knock them over. Not even knock them off. Anyway, and here at the end is Paracelsus. Uh, you know, very famous guy. It's not Paracelsus, it's Bertie Bot. I need my eyes testing, obviously. But there we go, like a little animated sort of GIF version of the wizard card. It's really cool, uh, and yeah, it'd be really fun to look at them at the end. Um, the next one we're just going to be doing a bit of basic parkour. No horrible fire crabs involved, thankfully. So, boom again. Almost at the top. And then when we do get to the top, Albus Percival Wolfric Brian is waiting for us. That's number two. Um, and yeah, we just got to keep going. Keep on going. We need to the finger spell now. Um, and yeah, this one just keeps getting higher and higher the closer you get to it. And it's Godric Gryffindor. I can tell this one. I don't know why I thought it was Paracelsus. You can get Paracelsus in this one. Um, but yeah, God knows why I didn't think that was Paracelsus. So you've come up here, you can jump along. Yeah, we're just going to jump back down here and cut this to get into this area. And this part's pretty fun. You've got like a scourge and you've just got to form your own way, like your own path up. And just obviously avoid getting hit with all the green stuff. And this is the one that can make all the foul. Nice and easy once again. And now we can bounce. Instead of running, you can bounce over for fire crabs. Whee! All the way. And that gets you set as arse. Slithering. You can then also unlock this, and you can run, or you can bounce again! Whee! And this is for... Helga Hufflepuff. Thankfully not all of them are just bouncing over stuff now. No, 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 it's still a bit of challenge, but don't you worry. And then... Into here. This door. Unlock. Um, and yeah, it's a... Uh, it reminds me of like the... Uh, Luma spell charge fish room, maybe other lighting, things like that. It just, just looks amazing. Um, and yeah, when well, you go back into the room, it's the floors vanish, it's turned into a completely different room. It's like, what? Where's everything gone? And then we can use the Luma's platforms, jump down, don't forget, and then to unite with a chess champion of the 1450s or whatever he was. Um, I know he was chess champion, I don't know. Cut this one. And then we're ending up in this room here. And this room, again, it's another fun one where you just got to sort of like forge your own path up without blocking yourself. Oops. Um, I'm feeling at it. That's what I'm doing. And just push that way. Push that way. Oh god, Harry's just glitching out. He's having the time of his life. And we'll finally push this way. Okay, don't push at all then, Harry. We'll just jump up. And there we have it. Another card. There's another one around there. Got to go this way first. So instead of walking down the stairs, you can cut this rope to get a shortcut. Yes, it's a nice little shortcut. This bounce all the way along. Uh, and that's a, a, a Annabella Plunkett. Yeah, no, oh, I forgot the name. Uh, Car stone or something. Basically, she's a naughty woman. She keeps breaking the um, statue of secrecy, which is just very naughty. And what you want to do here? You want this one to be at the fullest extent it can be. So knock this one all the way to the end. Knock this middle one into the middle, so just three out of four, and then knock this one as well, all the way to the end. So there we go, it's like a little um, 
for you know, it's, it's a little thing anyway I don't know what I was going to describe it as I think I was going to do like Bronson and Gold but it's not all because two of them are at the same height and the middle is a bit lower just so you can get the card and then get into this door and then we can run across again we don't want to run around upstairs it's just a like, cut this open we can bounce on one getting a nice shortcut it's just working so we should hold it to the way up Wizards, for God's sake, we don't walk, we bounce everywhere on our spongify tiles, and that gets you another card. It's the final one. It was Harry Potter. So, we can now take a look at all the cards we've unlocked. So, we've got Bertie Bot, it's what the gift you've got the lights in the shop, the beans bursting out, Albus Dumbledore looking as magnificent as ever. God, you're Gryffindor looking very serious. The green fumes on these two just make them look so good. Like this uh, herb of the fowls you're walking up. Oh my god, it looks brilliant. He's the first new critter. The Basilisk, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff, flowers piping everywhere. Montague Knight, the chess champion. Here's Paracelsus. Um, here's Colotta Pinkstone. I was right, yeah, Colotta Pinkstone. She keeps breaking the international secrecy. Wing of Ravenclaw and Harry Potter. So there we go guys, all 101 cards here for you in the Harry Potter, the Chamber of Secrets for PC. I hope this has helped at least one person, because this is what them videos are for, trying to help at least one of you. There's a bonus one at the end, Harry Potter. It's been an epic, brilliant thing. I can't wait now to start proving that Prisoner of Azkaban on the PC for you guys, that walkthrough will be coming soon. And then of course the bonus part showing you where the shields are and where all 70 cards are in that game too. If, you've, if I have helped, tell me which I have done down below. Give a comment, like, subscribe, all that YouTube nonsense. But until Prince of Aspen, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all later.